Hey, how you doing? I made a video a little while ago about uh, the difference between wall sweeps and wall sweeps. Remember the ones that are baked into the wall and the ones that you add manually, okay? But somebody asked me, how do you schedule them? Okay, it's reasonably straightforward actually, but so this won't take long. Uh, but anyway, let's go and do it. You can see here, I've already modeled a skirting board wall sweep, okay? Uh, now, the way that this schedules depends on how you model it. So you need to be kind of thinking about that before you before you uh, model the, the sweep. So as it is, it'll 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 schedule each uh, instance of a sweep, not each length of a sweep, okay? So each length may be important here because we're talking about a skirting board, okay? So if you wanted each length to be scheduled separately, then you'd have to start a new sweep for each length, if that makes sense. So uh, the length between the door there, then at the end of the wall, that would be one entire sweep. Then you'd have to start a new one for from that wall to the the edge of the door. Okay, and so on. I haven't done that. I've just done the minimum amount of sweeps, and that's what I'll schedule. Okay. Right down in our project browser, go down to schedules. Okay, uh, there we are. Schedules quantities. All right click and click on new schedule quantities. We're going to select walls, or rather a subcategory of walls. So let's go down to walls. We have our little plus symbol, and here's the, I guess this is the trick, if there is one uh, in scheduling sweeps, is we click that, and we select wall sweeps instead of walls. Okay. Now, there aren't as many uh, parameters here that you can that you can schedule, but what do we do? We'll, we'll do type, okay? You might want to do phase, especially if this, is a, if this is a refurb. There might be some skirtings that are in there that are taken out, and you can do all that. Uh so phase created or phase demolished, that might be relevant. I'm not going to do that. So I got type and I got length, right? And I got, I could put in material. Uh, no, I won't. I'll just keep it simple. Type and length. That'll do for now. Okay. And okay. There we are. As I said, I, I created three, sorry, four separate sweeps. If I wanted to schedule this, so each one of these instances here was going to be uh, a separate length of, 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 of skirting board, then I'd have to create a skirting for each length, right? As I said before. Okay, since we're here anyway, we may as well do some scheduling work, okay? So in our schedule properties, if I go into appearance, uh, let's see what I want to change there. Okay, I like to have a striped row, so white, gray, white, gray, or, or a different color. So I select here, striped rows, check the box. Uh, I could change the color there if I want to. I don't want to. Uh, the text size is fine for now, that'll do. Uh, okay, formatting. Formatting, formatting tab. We tend to tab numbers from the right, so select length and change the alignment from left to right, if you want to. Uh, I also want to calculate the totals for length, so I need to change the value here from no calculation, while length is still selected, and select calculate totals. Now, if I wanted to calculate totals of type, I, I could do that. I don't want to. Okay, now go into sorting and grouping. Uh, we don't need to really sort by anything, so I'm just going to add grand totals, check the box. And I don't want the count, actually, in this case. You may want the count, but in this case, I don't. So I'm going to select totals only. And that's it. I think that's pretty much it. There's no filters we need. Okay. There we are. Now, my project settings are... Uh, that my dimensions will be in millimeters okay so we got thirty thousand and eighty millimeters of skirting now that you may not want that for your schedule you may want your schedule to report in meters and that's fine so let's go and do that we'll, we'll have to do an override okay so if we go back into uh formatting edit and uh, select length uh let me see field formatting we have use project settings ticked here, and my project settings are millimeters. So I'm going to uncheck that so that we can override the project settings just for this view, okay? Uh, for this for this schedule, I'm going to change from millimeters to you could change it to whatever you want, but I'm going to change to uh, meters, okay? Where are we? Meters there. Now, will I round? No, I'm going to round. Yes, I'm going to round to maybe two decimal places, okay? Unit symbol, I'm going to put in the M for meters. 
Do I want to, do I want a trail suppressing zeros? I don't think I do actually, because I want the, the numbers to stack. Okay. And okay. And okay. Well, there you go. I hope you found that interesting and amusing and intriguing and entertaining and useful. And if you did any of the above, please let me know by giving the video a like and I don't know, drop a comment. If you haven't already, of course, you know what to do. Click the button, subscribe. And I appreciate each and every one of you. This week we reached a milestone on the channel. We got the thousand subscribers. Uh, you know, what do you do now? <laughs> Just keep doing it, I suppose. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.